everyone wants to know what the shirt means, tutto fa brollo. Okay, so in Italy, like, it really means everything makes stock. So like, you don't throw anything away and you can make broth out of anything. Welcome to my kitchen. My name is Stefano Secchi from Resdora here in New York City. And we're going to be making a stock from everything I've got left in my fridge. And passatelli, to go passatelli and brollo. Super classical from Emilia Romagna. And I'm really excited. We're just going to figure out um, everything that, you know, what does a chef ever have in his fridge? I don't have much, but like a rotisserie chicken, you can make the best stock with whatever's left over. We've got green onions. Okay, why not? We have uh, organic celery from uh, from the local Mercato, all these carrots. Here's the 24 month Parmigiano that I always have my guys save me at the restaurant. Uh, I mean, I make everything with it. We're gonna use this. I got grated Parmesan cheese because we always have that. This onion here. Let's talk about the prep. And we're gonna put all of our trim in here, okay? Carrots are peeled. Carota, cipolla, sedano. Carrots, onion, celery. I like a lot of green onion. Again, we wanna be super rustic here, right? The rules of making brollo, and we do a few things. So in, in Italy, you, as opposed to like the French way, the French way you want it to be nice and clear, and like you also use, you can make consomme where you, where you get a clarification raft, and you have like egg whites and some protein, and then you, get, you clarify it. But in Italia, we always do something, we like, we like that fat to be emulsified inside. So we, we bring it to like a nice simmer and let it simmer for a long time. Um, really slowly. We don't really worry about it being too clarified, but I guess the, the rules are this. You just want to have aromatics and you want to have, um, you can use proteins. You got like fish, chicken, beef. Um, sometimes beef bones are, are roasted. That's what's so nice about this for chicken. You have like a roasted chicken uh, stock, which is going to be what we see all the time over there. The chicken is submerged in the water right now. Okay, I'm just going to coarsely cut the celery too. Uh, you can also Funny enough, if you want to add everything to a blender, you can do that and get an even more intense stock in like less the amount of time. So in goes celery, carrots the same exact way. With the onion, just cut off the roof and the tip. Of course you chop that, uno. And if you want, um, you can put the parmigiano rinds inside of a cheesecloth. I just have like four of them. And it's just gonna go right inside. Here. We've got all the aromatics inside. We've got the rotisserie chicken. We've got the parmigiano rinds. We're gonna bring it up first to a simmer. Another thing you, gotta, you have to worry about is that you don't know how much seasoning is on the rotisserie chicken, so I wouldn't salt right now. You wanna salt just in case a little bit later. This is just gonna cook all day today, right? So I'm, I'm really talking like seven, eight hours. Just have it going really low, sit on the couch, relax a little bit. Um, then you're gonna strain it. You can put it inside the freezer. If you want, you can put it inside of ice cubes too and pop them out. Um, whatever you need to make this a quick sauce, which is really, really cool. All right, let's do passatelli real quick. Okay, so the best thing about passatelli is that uh, there's this fad to make sourdough. Everyone has all this leftover sourdough and it's probably in the freezer still. Let this come to room temperature, toast it in the oven for about 20, 30 minutes, um, and then send it through a food processor. And then you get like these really nice breadcrumbs and sourdough breadcrumbs will work well with this as well. But this is like, Indimidia Romagna was so classic to use up all the leftover bread because you would never throw anything away, right? So I have about a cup of, uh, of this, these toasted breadcrumbs, okay? I've got parmigiano grattugiato, grated parmesan cheese, going right inside. The traditional recipe, you don't really put flour inside, but for those at, the, at, at home when you do a passatelli like this, you wanna put a little bit of flour because it's gonna help the passatelli hold together. The one thing that I would say that's like really important for this is don't ever buy Noche Moscato and not make free ground. Um, this is like one of those things that you need to be grating fresh. We just want to make sure that we get something a little bit, uh, a little bit fresh, okay? We have these heirloom eggs. I just wanted to show you the color of these yolks. This is the first time in, uh, in the States that I've been able to find yolks of that color. Look at that. Okay, so I'm gonna add about Two nice pinches of salt, okay? And then I like to do this right inside of a bowl first. And then you wanna have large eggs. If you have medium sized eggs, so it's about half a cup of um, breadcrumbs for one whole egg. So you just use a fork to begin, and then we're gonna get involved with your hands, yeah? So what you're trying to do is, uh, is bring everything together and just somewhat develop the gluten a little bit. 
So this is what the dough looks like. See, it's nice and yellow from the, uh, from the yolk. So we take the pastaselli dough, we're gonna cut it in half. Just wanna make sure that everything is together. Okay, you see those little bits of parmigiano? Like, that's one of my favorites, okay. The stock has been cooking for seven hours, right? And we're just gonna start, we're just straining. I just, just use a traditional uh, ladle to strain. And then if you have some loose um, leaves in there, you can use a chinois or just a, a china cap, or you can use uh, just a mesh strainer to get, get everything out. I actually kind of like that. That's gonna be the base of our uh, pasatelli and brodo, yeah? Like super rich rotisserie flavor, and then like a little bit more salt. I got black truffles as well because I mean, why not? And so I was thinking, so if we're gonna do, if we're gonna do pastatelli, I was gonna, we're gonna serve it, we're gonna put the broth in there, we're gonna press the pastatelli into the dough, and then I have these like, just the last of the black winter couples right now. They're small little guys. Man, smell that? You smell that? It smells incredible, right? This is, a, this is called a pasta pastatelli. This is from 1965 um, in my family. You see this? I don't know if they make these like this anymore. The pastatelli yolk goes right inside of here. You press it, and then you take a knife, and then you cut, like super old school. We're not talking, we're not gonna go like fancy extruded KitchenAid machine. What else do you use it for? Uh, mashed potatoes too. So if you, this is like an old school potato masher. That's, I think, where it comes from back in the day. <laughs> I have more Parmesan cheese. The pastatelli is going in the pasta pastatelli, or it's just, a, it's just a ricer, right? Knife ready, boiling stock. See that knife right there? Careful. Make sure that any of the dough left over is gonna stick a little bit, but you wanna be able to press everything through, okay? Okay, now we're gonna drop the uh, temperature down to a simmer. It's like a really nice pastatelli. So it's been it's simmered for two minutes, right? Because the breadcrumbs are already cooked, the flour is cooked through. I'm gonna, I'm gonna let it simmer for just another 30 seconds, right inside of the bowl. I have parmigiano on the base here. Okay, pastatelli and the beautiful brodo. Now the black truffle. You can, if you want, um, finish with extra virgin olive oil, but we're gonna shave tartufo nero with a microplane on top. Man, and then just look, just look at this, just look at this brodo. Right? Use from a rotisserie chicken and everything left over that I had in the fridge. We should get Luca in here to taste it. That's what should happen because this could, he's the ultimate judge. Woo! <laughs> oh, you look at how excited. Say ciao, ciao. Say ciao, ciao. Say ciao, ciao. Viene, viene, viene mangiare de pasatelli. Okay, we're gonna try the pasatelli, okay? He's in his PJs because he's about to go on down for a nap. Puoi assaggiare questo per favore? Assaggialo. 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 No. Okay. Okay, Pasatelli and Brodo. Click on the link below. Come visit me at Resdora. Tutto fa Brodo. Luca, tutto fa Brodo. <laughs> Everyone's gonna watch Luca crack an egg. Bye, bye, bye. Bye. Be forte. Be forte.